We now return to Let's Play Caves of Cud. So, after my embarrassing spilling of water last episode, we're ready to pick up this guy's quest and uh, see what he wants me to do. Are you ready to discuss the signal? Yes, I am. We have known about the signal for several years. Unfortunately, it is encoded and we do not have the means here to decrypt it. You may be of some help in this matter, however. We have long known the location of a fully functioning Betel within the bowels of the Great Hall, Bethesda Susa. The Mechanimists have consecrated the site around it and built a temple there. If you can infiltrate their compound, you may be able to engage the Betel and decode the signal. What is a Betel? They are antique stones located in certain places deep within the caverns of Cud. We believe they are some sort of hyper-advanced machines built by the Eaters. Often one claims to possess a sentience of its own, however, most of them have gone haywire in the eons since their creation. It is rare indeed to discover one whose circuitry is wholly uncorroded. The Mechanimists worship, worship this one as an idol, and they will protect it at all costs. You will need to find a way through their host to the Betel itself. Do you believe you can accomplish this task? Yes, I do. One more thing, then. The Betel is located beneath the ancient Cryobarios of the Eaters. Time has worked to erode the mechanisms that contain their cryogenic mist. Oh no, their freezing vapor billows out of the chambers freely now, cooling the entire cavern. You will want to procure warm clothing to protect yourself. The spoils of the Mechanimists are yours to keep. Remember, Apprentice, Barathrum will look kindly upon your service. I will return with the data, steward. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to want my... Oh no. Did I did I leave that? Um, no. Did I leave my? I think I left my Ish Ikari Sun Veil stuff. I did. I totally did. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to. Um, and there are no nearest to. Uh, I've got to get out of here. In that case, we are going to head to. Let's pick up some corpses here first, actually. We're going to head to, um... The, uh... Can, what, what is this actually like to eat these things? Bloated and... Ah, uh, good. Um... What the fuck am I even talking about? We're going back to Joppa! Okay, that'll be enough for now. It's good to know I've got a supply of these corpses lying around here. They're actually quite... Go oh, well, you know, if I'm just going to go back to Joppa, then I may as well just use my Joppa thingy, right? Where is my Joppa? Re there it is. And it's not going to go back on its own. It's too low power, so I have to replace it with a uh, full chem cell. Okay, now we'll go back. We're transported! Hooray! And then I gotta go up here, and which one did I... there it is. So this has... I, th I think this has it, or is it just the Sun Veil? No. Did I not have a Sun Veil? The headpiece thing? Did I trade that away? Did I ever have one? I've got one on my head right now. Okay. Never mind. So I've got plus 10 heat resistance. Uh, God, where is that menu? I should be able to see... Oh, it's right there. 30 electrical resist, but only 10 heat resist. I'm going to want some more than that. Oh, and I've also got uh, skill points. So, what do I want with this? I could put something at, like, a menacing stare. That might be useful. I might also want to do... Well, you know what? Let's find out where this thing is. Is it up there? Bethesda Souza, yes. So we're going through jungle. I could do wayfaring jungle. And that would prevent me from getting lost there. Since most of the map is jungle, I kind of feel like maybe that would be a good thing to have anyway. So I'll do that. Um, unless there's something right now, like <laughs> again, protection against elemental stuff. Uh, what first age? Uh, heal. Okay. 
Well, I'll do that then. I'll go... Wilderness Lore Jungles. Um, I appear to have just crashed. Okay, it worked that time, so now I'll pick jungles. Hooray! So now hopefully that means I won't get lost in jungles. Anyway, I'm back. So that banner was worthless. We do have lots more water now, but I do have that one that I picked up myself. Um, okay, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to add this one, and I will take out this one. That'll lower my weight a little bit. So what did I have in there? Nothing now. Just the banner there. Okay. Is there anything valuable that I can come pick up from you? Anything that might... Protect me from the heat. You still haven't changed your stuff. I guess he wouldn't because I'm no longer tra traveling, rather. I'm uh, just sort of going back and forth. So, I don't think I have anything here that I want to give you. I could do... Oh, I was going to was gonna tear that, that uh, revolver apart, wasn't I? Because I don't need it now. I may as well disassemble it. Yeah. Ooh, flawless crystal, finally. I don't even remember what I wanted that for, but... Was it, uh, was it to actually build a pistol or a revolver? I think I might have been wanting it to build a revolver. So, worthless. Worthless, actually. However, I'm sure it'll come in handy somewhere. Avoider gland. Well, if I really wanted to do that, I could go back down to... Gotha, and I don't want to do that at all. Uh, Blaze Injector. Oh, yeah, one of these, one of these, one of these has fire protection, and I think it's this one, right? Look. No, it's cold resist. Okay. Uh, it is. So I don't have. What? Minus 50 cold resist cannot be frozen. You are immune to heat damage. Okay, yeah, that one. So maybe I want to make some more of those. What do they take? Fire ant gasters. Fire ants. Where are the fire ants? I don't remember. Let's come over here. See what I can trade with you. I took all your stuff, and you've only got these, so nothing really. A freeze ray might be interesting. I wonder if that would actually help in this situation. Possibly could. Um, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Yeah, I, I just don't have anything to trade anymore. I'm actually going to look up what this next location is. So, according to the wiki... This next location is recommended levels 18 to 20. Um, I am level 12, and it says that heat er, yeah, heat resistance is incredibly... No. Cold resistance, because this place is cold. Yeah, so we need things like, um, like ape fur and stuff like that. Basically... I need to wander around and maybe grind or try to find something, and then, um, because I, I have no freaking idea of where these guys are. I could wander over to this village, Kyakukya, the jungle village of ape god worshippers and their giant mushroom dwellings. I could go screw around in the ruins around the Grit Gate. That might be fun. Uh, there are many ruins, and there are ruins around Golgotha as well. I could go traipsing through the flower fields. I could go back to the rust wells. I mean, we've got a couple different... We went to this one, but there are two other locations. So maybe I could go give those a look. Of course, we can always go out west into the salt marshes and the salt dunes and maybe make my way up to the six-day stilt. I have no idea what's out here. Uh, oh. 
I do have those two robots that uh, the zealot was telling me to take to this place, so maybe if I take them there, that'll be worth something. I'm kind of interested to go roaming around those ruins, though. We might find some good stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and put... There it is. I need to replace your cell with a new cell, and then we will activate you and head back. So now we're here. I have to go all the way back up the frickin' stairwells again. It's nice to know, though, that there are many, many corpses left lying around here that uh, actually will help feed me. So, if I ever need lots of mirthworm corpses again, that's the way to go. Okay, let's go up into some ruins and then check those out. Uh, if I do end up having to grind quite a bit, then I'm definitely not going to... You know what? I see some food over here on the ground. Why is that? What is over here? Uh, then I'll probably just end up spending some time off camera. Another one of those guys. And studded leather armor. I mean, I could take it. I'm sort of overweight right now anyway, mostly because of probably that water, right? If I put some water down, so it's, it's not the water, it's probably the corpses that I'm carrying around? Yeah, I'm carrying uh, many, many corpses. Well, let's head over here and see what we got. Ooh, okay, that guy, those two were actually fighting. He's currently in perfect health. Oh, there is a turret. Shoot the turret. It just dropped something that looked really good, actually. I'm gonna hit time dilate. So yeah, I'll screw around for a little bit. Now there's furs. But it's not the ape fur that I actually need to, uh... to keep me warm. So that's interesting that there are... can't get a bead on him. There are turrets just lying around in the ground. Corroded circuit board, I'll take that. But more importantly, I need to shoot that thing. There we go. Okay, I'll get this. And here comes a leech. It's actually pretty strong. Chainmail and a... I'll take the chainmail. We can always head straight down to the grit gate and trade some of this stuff in. An Electrofuge Corpse. What is that gonna do if I eat that? I don't know. I'll take it with me. No, I won't. Oh my god, that is heavy. That is freaking heavy. And I'm not... Yeah, I'm totally not, uh... There's a 150-pound spider there. Well, the... The icon for it is a spider. I don't know if it actually is a spider. I'll have to look at it next time. But I'm picking up many good vine wafers, and there are actually stairs down. What is that? That looks like a shaft to me. It's a pile of rubble. Okay, well, in Golgotha, that would have been a shaft that would have released... Um... Damn it. That would have released some crabs. And that would have been bad. Okay. Well, dang it, I I was not actually looking forward to that. Coming in here and having to grind my way to get to the next location. That is one thing that bothers me a lot about role-playing games in general. Is when you get to that point when you've sort of outpaced where the game will let you go. And all you can do afterward is... Is this good water? Salty water, damn it. Uh, all you can do is just sit and grind and grind and grind and grind. And unfortunately, in this game, it takes a bit longer to do that. So I'm not really sure, and there's a lot of good stuff around here, I'm not really sure how long this is going to take, and this is definitely going to slow down everything. Um, Tinkering bits.
tinkering bits? No, I guess not. I guess I just tore that apart and made something else. Probably scrap electronics. Um, so yeah, uh, this was only a, a fill-in Let's Play to begin with, but it might mean that I end up having to take a break from it, on the channel anyway, uh, until I can actually you know, get ahead to the next place. So I'll be going around and traipsing through places, exploring the map. Okay. I got all the vine wafers. Where were those stairs? Oh, they were way up here. Okay, may as well save and go down those stairs, right? Right. Oh, I'm hungry now. Now I could go over to that, uh, that corpse. But let's eat the corpses I've got because, man. Okay, now we go. Seriously? <laughs> Oh yeah, I I have that uh, that potion that had the that gave me digging claws, and I was gonna go back to what's it and dig through the wells there, wasn't I? Walls, not wells. I miss, I miss. What am I? What the hell are you talking about? Really, there was a a skunk off screen. Oh no. Well, I'll take that. And it looks like we've got a lot more goodies just lying around here. That's fine with me. Uh, I guess I can just sit here and collect. I'm not really sure if there's anything... Oh, God. Uh, puma. There's a puma. There is a puma. Okay, these aren't too bad now. But... You can see over there that I'm, I'm getting hit. So my high dodge value is really not helping me out so much anymore. That was a buckler. Iron wafer. Well, I'm picking up ammo and jerky and more vine wafers. Ah, here we go. Here's another location. Maybe something in it? Maybe? Maybe just more slugs. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Rifle turret. Oh shit. Um. Uh. Da 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 da. Uh. Da, 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 da. Sprint. Is that a good thing to do right now? Until I can find this freaking thing. There, I can just shoot it down. Uh, healing would be a good thing to do right now too. So these are interesting ruins. If this is really all it is, what is that? Just some rubble. That, oh, frick! Well, those came out of some stairs. I will. Uh, there we go. Fully healed. Save. Yes. Always save before going down. This might just be another hole in the ground. Some kind of bunker or something. I could always go back to the Grit Gate and go down the stairs to the Grit Gate. Subterranean jungle level. Interesting. Holy crap. Yay, level 13. And this one actually dropped something, so that's good. This one might actually be a little bit better than the other locations we've discovered. It's very bizarre. Okay, well, uh, maybe not. Where where the hell am I? I should grab that. Wooden arrows? Nah, maybe I shouldn't grab that. It looks like this might go off to the other side there. Oh shit, what am I passing? I am passing a glow moth. Fortunately, they're not terribly difficult. More wooden arrows. Now we're going up. I don't know why I'm going up. I don't need to go up. I can't go up anyway. Took that long to load and tell me that it was blocked by shale. And I just saw a bullet whiz past me, so there are more... 
turrets lining the under under passages. I don't even know what this is. Where the hell am I? And I'm just totally wasting ammo. I really don't need to be doing that. I can just walk right up to them and then heal afterward. Well, I want a treasure vault. I want something special. Come on, there we go. Well, damn. More arrows to trade, anyway. Whatever good that does me. I saw someone just exploded over there. Wooden arrows, wooden arrows. Another freaking skunk. Get out of the poison. Freaking trees. What the hell? Did I do this? Okay, well, anyway, that's, uh, that's disappointing. Let's see if I can actually go to the right. Blocked by sandstone. Nope. This is just some weird underground cavern. Okay. Well, there's more stuff over there to pick up. Shotgun shell. I will take it. Oh, no. There's a slumberling. It is asleep. Ah, there's also an albino ape. Perhaps I can get its fur. What do you mean there's nothing to take? Oh, because I auto-got it. Let's come fight over here, away from the slumberling, please. Okay. We'll just wait for it to get a little bit closer, and then I will beat it down quietly. There. It didn't drop anything. Slug, slug. Another vine way for these are shotgun shells, hooray. An iron buckler that I had nothing to do with. Vine wafer, shotgun shells, more vine wafers. I really should be picking up all of this food. Because you never know. It kind of disconcerts me, though, why, uh... Why there's so much shit on the ground. I'm gonna just get back up, up to the surface. We can wander over to this one, right? Right. Hopefully there'll be something here, but first I'm gonna eat a corpse. I'm gonna eat this giant centipede. Fantastic. Mm, this looks like maybe it might be a bigger facility. Looks like maybe... Okay. Um, I'm going to take a few shots at this guy. Time dilate. And then beat him down. There we go. Okay. Steel short sword. I will take that. I need to go trade some of this stuff. A milky tube and a copper nugget. Didn't I see some other... Oh, this one. Leather armor and a copper nugget. I'll take that. Let's look at this milky tube. Whew. I, I thought I applied that without looking at it. It's a rubber gum injector. I'll read that, and I know how to make my own now. Electric resistance and cold resistance. Okay. Well. Still not really helpful to me. So I guess I'm going to have to spend a lot of time on my own trying to find some white apes and take their stuff. Peel the skin off their bones and uh, wear it into this new location. I'm, I'm also going to have to spend a lot of time leveling up. How many points do I have now? I've got three mutation points, so not enough to get that next mutation, unfortunately. Um, boy, I'm kind of lost at this point. Point. What is that? A torch. Nah, I don't need to take it. What is that? A thermal grenade. Okay. Well, what's over here, then? 
see if I can't move this way. Pigs. That's that's okay. I'll take a pig. Because I can butcher it. We're apparently following a river. There is a turret. <laughs> Try and get round. Beat it down. Okay. Steal a short sword. I'll take it. Let's go back over here. Finish exploring this. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. This is this is really not where I wanted this let's play to go. Just random exploration. Now, until I actually can go somewhere, I mean, I can try and sneak in and just see what it's like. But, um... I mean, if I had that much trouble in the last location, that I just had to basically run through it... I'll take that. I'll take this, too. Uh, I, I don't fancy my chances in this new place. Where? What is that? More torches. Okay. More of you guys. Take your steel utility knife. And I've, I've got to do something about what I'm carrying, because I'm overburdened significantly. So, I'll probably end up going back to Grit Gate, dropping some stuff off. That's probably more torches. Pro probably dropping stuff off that I don't need right away. Maybe if I'm lucky, there'll be some new... Take all that. New things to trade for. Uh, it's just... Uh, Oh. There we go. Chitinous Puma Corpse. Yeah, I'll take it. No, I won't. Holy shit. How heavy is this thing? 200 pounds? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna drop that. Unless I need to eat. Which I apparently don't. Uh, I can... Nope. I thought that was a trash pile. It's just the way it looks. More torches. Okay, well, I think we're running out of stuff to look at here. Pretty close, anyway. I gotta go around for that building. I'll go look at this, and then probably... Oh, shit, what just hit me? Glow Moth. Fantastic. Open door. Open door. Open door. Stairs down. Hmm... Well, there's probably not going to be anything down there. I'll take a peek really quick. And then we'll end the episode while I go wandering around trying to find anything. I really don't know where else I'm going to go with this. Another underground forest. These trees are really freaking in the way. And this is a mess of everything. Uh, I need to heal up. That freaking poison cloud is following me. Club? Lead slug? I think... oh, Puma. I need to pick this up. Another one. Oh, I don't like this place at all. <laughs> I don't like this place at all. Can I go through? I can go through here. Okay. Some of these trees you can go through, and some you can't. I guess it's the ones facing, like, this one to the right. I'll have to do something about getting rid of all these arrows I'm collecting because I don't use arrows anymore. So that's fine. Well, I think this is just going to be another one of these. Oh, damn it. Another one of these um, places. And maybe I can look up where the albino apes live so I can go kill some and specifically take their fur. I hope that poison cloud doesn't just destroy everything. It did. It destroyed the... Damn it. Destroyed the scrap. That's not good. More lead slug. Ah! Albino ape. I was looking for you. And 
you left nothing behind. That's the worst part. Copper nugget, I'll take that. It wouldn't let me auto get it, so that makes me think there's something still here. Maybe another auto turret. That would be an interesting thing to get. I should actually look at this before I kill it. That's a horned chameleon, okay. Nothing super special. Shotgun shell. The sleeping slug here. And let's just hope we don't run into a slumberling. Yep, pretty much done here. Okay. Well, damn. Oh, there's more stairs down. Well, this might turn out to be a location. Who knows? Leech corpse. Should I, should I take that? I can eat it right now because I'm hungry. I need to turn that back on for sure. We're not quite done with this location either. It's actually a lot more stuff to go and explore here. Auto slug. Hmm. This is actually quite a bit bigger. Okay, well, maybe I'll come back next episode and we can go explore the lower levels. Or, I don't know. Ah, damn trees. Go explore some more areas. I guess maybe I can poke my head into uh, Bethesda Sousa and just see. But I think maybe it's going to be a little bit more than I can chew. So anyway, I'll end this one here, and I will see you next time.